Airtable record limit is a real thing. At some stage, you just cannot insert more records into your base. In this video, we'll show you how to use software and Superbase to scale your business to millions of records. All that still without need to code. Stick around. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated. On this channel, we are helping you to automate your business workflows. If you are new here, consider subscribing to get the latest updates on the latest tools, or even joining our channel to get a wide range of membership-only perks. See more about the perks on the channel homepage. In this video, I'll show you how to use Superbase as a data source for software to build a portal that allows customers to place bids for product. So inspiration for this was an actual business that resells a used equipment that has many, many thousands of different products and SKUs. For each one of them, customers are allowed to put individual bids. With multiple bits per record, we end up very quickly with uh, millions of records inside of the database. We will go over setting up Superbase and using AI to create database tables, using Superbase as a data source and connecting it in software, creating and filtering product lists, editing records, creating new records, and as well, finally, creating advanced SQL queries inside of software. Superbase is a product that is used and loved by hundreds of thousands of developers. In principle, it is a hosted and managed Postgres instance that you can deploy in seconds. So that's what we're going to do over there. Uh, I'm going to start a brand new project so that you can see how this one is looking like. I will call it software. Make sure to save your database password so you can see that my database is starting up and here I have all the details that will be later needed for setting up inside of software, but we're going to start first with creating tables. So you're going to see that I'm going to go here to the table editor and inside of table editor, I could start creating new tables and I could name the table and start adding columns here, but I will show you a much more fun and faster version how to create those tables. So here I'm opening a SQL editor and I will show you that you can create full tables without any need of SQL because there is an amazing assistant inside of um, Superbase that basically uses AI to create all the SQL queries. So I'm asking to create table products that will contain list of farm equipment just to give it some context. I'm listing the columns that I would like to have with some examples for some of those columns and I'm asking for AI to allow for those fields to be empty so nullable means uh, means empty okay so let me just insert this code over here and you will see that it has uh, created the code for creating this table so you can see that here I have added some specific constraints that for example condition can be only those four options but just to make it easier in the beginning i will remove that check so that we don't have any problems when we create our initial table it will be just easier for the demo and here for example if we're using the sku code it's also asking the constraints to be unique but in this case we will remove this and we'll also remove this not null so that it's easier for us to build the demo so I'll run this Oh, and we're missing, we're missing a comma over here. I'll run it one more time. Okay, success, nothing has been returned. So over here, let's see, we have table products, but right now we have no data over here. So let's also ask AI to create some sample data over here. And you can see that it has created samples of data. So what we're gonna do is replace existing code and we're gonna run it no rows returned so this is success so we have all the sample data that we can work with over here all right now we're going to create the second table for bids and you can see that i have asked ai to make sure that we have id we have created date that will default to the actual time then we have a product id that is linked as a foreign key to the our table products and then we have a user user ID. We're gonna replace the code. We're actually going to remove the not null constraint. And we're gonna change the user ID to be just user email. And the constraint here we're gonna keep, you can see that it's referencing the public schema. Schema is, by the way, this folder where this is kept. All our tables are kept in public. 
And here we also have delete on cascade, which means that if the product would be deleted, this record would be also deleted over here. So let's create this and we can see success, no, role, no roles returned, and we have another table here. So now let's also create some sample data here. You can see the error here is coming because we have renamed the column success, no roles returned, and we have this table here populated and you can also see here that right now it is referencing a specific product okay now let's add superbase as a source inside of software so we're going to connect a new source select superbase click continue i already have one connection so i'm just going to call it tool and the information for the host and information for the database and so on you're going to find this inside of the project settings and then database configuration so settings database configuration and the information you can copy from here so you're going to have the host and here it will be the database password that you have created in the beginning when you created your superbase instance now we're going to go to the apps and here i will use the project that i've been working on but when you would set up a new project, probably the first thing you would like to do is go to the users and set up the source table for your users. In this specific case, once you click on the settings, you can see that I'm using Superbase for the users as well. You could use a different source. You could also select Airtable and use a table for users coming from Airtable. In this specific case, we are using Superbase and you will see that this is sitting inside of auth and inside of auth you will have a pre-built table users where superbase stores users for uh, for its own authentication system so here we're just going to link the email to email and that's it so we are using superbase for the users so you'll be able to see them over there as well and that's where the users will be stored that's how you can also create later the, the user groups by adjusting the table in superbase now let's go to the main page over here and we will try to create a list that is similar to here so to this one over here so what we're gonna do we're gonna add a new block and this block is going to be a list so now what you're going to do is select a schema and within the schema is you're going to select the table that you have created so that's going to be products and you have products over here right now you can add some filters or decide how this would be sorted so for example we can sort this based on the on the code or based on the id and the next step you could also add some filters what should be shown over here so for example once we have the status of those products we have status the status would be only approved all right and the next step is to basically match the information over here with the data coming from your source so for example for the image we need to find place where we are storing the image for the heading we need to select what we're going to put in the heading for example brand here we can also have for example tag which will be in the category we can also adjust colors to have a little bit more color over here and we're going to turn off for now the the secondary sections all right so you can see that already now you have this database over here what you can do additionally is for example add some filters over here so we're going to keep only one filter and this filter will be for example category and in this specific case you would have to write those categories here manually all right and let's see the preview and you can see that we have a list of products over here we can also select what category should be shown and right now we have only harvesters we can switch it to harvesters and irrigation systems we can switch it over to only irrigation systems and you can have thousands of thousands of records over here you can see below i'm having a little bit more advanced version so you can have a combination of irrigation system and products that are in a condition that is good and good and fair and so on all right now let's talk about creating records so i have created a separate page which is called my auctions where you can add new records so you can see how this is set up over here so we are having a similar list but here additionally we're having an auction which is called add records so the way this is configured over here you can see that we have all different types of fields set up when we have for example categories model label and so on and here the most important part we're having 
the hidden field which is being saved into the owner email and this allows us later to link this specific submission to a person that has submitted this so let's give it a try and you can see that the first model has been submitted over here and this has been also added to the database over here if you would like to add more fields it is possible to also adjust it over here so for example if we would like to add the, the description we would use text and map it to description and call it description all right so you will see that i am able to add the description over here as well okay in a similar way you can set up edit features you can see that here on the item buttons you have an option to add edit records and it works exactly the same the same way you can edit the fields in similar way you can also delete the records so you can see that also we are able to delete the records okay now let's move to the final most advanced feature which will be custom queries you will see that here on our products over here we have added a feature which is called bit this button bit takes us to a detail page and the detail page basically gives us a list of bits and it allows you also to submit um, whatever bit you would like over here and by the way the link to this base in is in the description of the video so you'll be able to kind of see the details how this is built but what is the most interesting part is that here to be able to see what is the let's say the maximum bit per per product we would not be able to see this only from from the base over here because we don't have we have multiple bits per single product so what we would like to, what we will have to do is that like this regular table does not have the maximum bit so what we would have to do we'll have to write a custom sql query that would for every product bring in the maximum bit for that specific product and we can also do it here inside of, of superbase to make sure that we are uh, having a correct query you can see that I have asked it to create a query that will select all the values of the current product including the maximum bit and you can see that it has created a custom query and you just you don't even need to know what it what it does you just need to make sure that it's doing the correct thing so you will see that it's basically created for us a table that is sort of similar to the original product table but here you have the maximum bit amount you can also go a little bit further and you could say you could say that if the bid amount is lower than the actual price that was set as the minimum set that as a minimum price so that you will get a price that is at least equal to the minimum price but if there is a higher bid then it would be visible so you can see that it added here some additional logic which gives us maximum bid or the price if there was no specific if there was no specific bits over here so you can see the price over here all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna copy paste this except the comment and we're gonna go back to the studio all right and here you can see that i'm actually already doing this in this specific example what we would do we would add instead of a table we would go to a query and here we would add a custom query so you can see that i'm editing this it is a slightly different query so let's see what happens if i change it over to this one i'm gonna do save well, the names are the same so i think nothing else changed so you can see that right now I have added basically this additional query. I could also filter this query here the same way. The only difference that shows up that for example, once you have buttons like this, whenever you would like to open detail page, this will not know exactly what is the ID of this detail page to which you would like to link. So you need to select specifically from this query that like, okay, so my detailed ID that I would like to pass to the next page on the products page when I'm opening the details for the products would be ID over here. And sometimes the names can be different. So that's why it's not always gonna be that, that clear for, for software, but you can kind of customize it and so on. So you can do this. The only drawback of this approach is that you are not able to add the buttons that will edit this custom query. So if you would like to, for example, add new records, you would have to do it on a pure table so once you select a regular table you would be able to automatically add and record so this is a note over here but i think this is super powerful and allows you to showcase things like for example maximum bid amount that will work in real time 
So you can see that it's not only being recorded straight away over here, but also now it is being updated in, in real time over here. So you can have super powerful interactive tables and, and interfaces with, uh, with that. So these custom queries are super useful. If you do not know how to make a custom query, you can, you can ask an AI to do it for you. And most of the time those queries are correct, but also once you see how this is built, it's definitely easier to understand what it does rather than coming up with this by yourself. So uh, super powerful tool from uh, Superbase and also a massive, massive feature that has been released by, by software allowing you to use SQL databases. And my favorite choice over here is, is software, but also do not uh, forget that for other features, you don't have to move everything to Superbase. You can still use Airtable for some of the other features like user list or some other marketing elements and so on. All right. So I hope this video was useful for you and uh, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other videos and topics you would like to hear about. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Bye.